In this video, I'll discuss how to write VBA code in Excel. First of all, let's get started by opening a new Excel file. In this case, my file is called Book 1. After you open the new file, to write VBA code, we're going to open the VBA editor. So the shortcut for opening VBA editor is Alt F11. Again, the combination is Alt F11. After you press Alt and F11 together, you can see that a VBA editor will come up. On the left hand side of this editor, you will see the list of workbooks that are currently open on your computer. In this case, I only have one workbook open. That's book one. We're going to insert a VBA code into book one. First of all, let's select this book one and then right click and then insert. We're going to insert a module here. So after we insert a module, you can see two things. One is on the left hand side, under book one, you have this modules folder. And inside the modules folder, you have one module, which is by default named module one. You can insert another module, it will be named module two and module three and so forth. If you want to change the name of the module, you can go to the lower left corner and select the current name and then delete it and type the name you want. Say, I'm going to name this module my module. So now you can see that the name of the module has been changed. On the right hand side, you'll have this editor where you can enter the code. So to write VBA code, we're going to start by writing subroutines. So to write a subroutine, we start by keyword sub. And after sub, you're going to enter the name of your subroutine. Okay, so the name is up to you. You can give it any name you want. So see here, let's name our first subroutine Hello World. After you type the name, you can just hit enter. You can see that VBA editor will automatically complete the structure of this subroutine. It will add parentheses here. Also, it will add end sub in the end. And between these two lines, you're going to enter the content of your subroutine. Just to give you an example, let's go back to the PowerPoint file and go to the fourth slide. Here, I provide you an example subroutine. So you can just copy, control C, control V. So now this is a complete subroutine. To run this subroutine, there are two ways. One is to use F5 key. First of all, you need to select somewhere inside the subroutine. Okay, just click anywhere inside the subroutine. And then you press F5. The F5 key will run the entire subroutine. The other way to run this subroutine is to run this line by line, one line at a time. To do that, we can use the F8 key. Again, the key is F8. So F8 key is very useful when you first write a subroutine, because when you first write a subroutine, you need to do, do some debugging and figure out which line works and which line doesn't. So that's why you need to run these lines one by one. So let's run this subroutine together using F8 key. First of all, select into the subroutine and press F8. I know I have not discussed the syntax for VBA, but just by looking at these keywords, you can guess what this line does. The first line says worksheets.add means add a new worksheet. So in your book one, right now you can see that you only have one worksheet, which is called sheet one. Okay. So if you press F8 key to execute the first line, after that you can see that there's a new worksheet called sheet two. So a new worksheet has been added. The second line says, change the value of cell A1 to hello world. So this just means that the content of A1 will be hello world after you execute this line. So I'm going to run through this line so that you can see what they do. Okay. 
So here I'm going to put a username of my computer into cell B3. And then the next line says that change the font color of A1 through A3 to blue. So now let's pay attention to A1 through A3. So if I press F8 key, you can see that now they turn blue. The next line says change the interior color to this Almond color. So we're going to change the background color. So interior color simply means background color. Okay, we're going to change the background color of A1 through A3 to Almond. And if the last line says pop up a message and the message says have fun. Okay, so now you can see that this is the message. Okay, so now we have successfully run this subroutine. So after you write a subroutine and make sure it works, the next thing is to save that subroutine. Okay. To save a subroutine, we're going to click on the Save button here. And uh, you can name your subroutine whatever you want. Let's say uh, first subroutine. The important thing here is that in order to save the VBA code, the format of your file must be macro-enabled workbook. It cannot be a regular workbook. It has to be macro-enabled. Okay. The extension here has to be XLSM. If you don't choose this, this extension, you will lose the code you write. So it's very important. And click on Save. Okay. So we have successfully saved a subroutine here.